Hey, Randy Hunter here from BeginningSax.com, and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of my beginning saxophone lesson series called Beginning Saxophone, The Jazz Approach. Now, in fact, you just heard me jamming with a track, one of the play-along tracks from the series, so you can tell these play-along tracks that I've got in the series are fine. Now, let me just tell you a little bit about the lesson series. Um, it's designed for beginners. Now, you can be an absolute beginner, or maybe you're somebody that played earlier in life and you're returning to the instrument. I've got a lot of folks that are that are in that situation. They played when they were high school and college, and they went on and had careers and came back and decided to get back into the saxophone playing and wanted a, an approach that was a little bit more, you know, adult-oriented than some of these beginning saxophone books. This lesson series is perfect for you. Uh, and, of course, you know, it's perfect for absolute beginners as well because it starts with the very basics, and it's a pretty intuitive lesson series. I've got a uh, set of introductory lessons that tell you how to put the instrument together, how to hold it, how to blow it, get sounds, and even get you started reading a few notes. Now, one of the things that you'll learn in this lesson series is how to read music, but you'll also get to start playing some jazz improvisation pretty quickly. I mean, by the third lesson, we've got play-along tracks like the one you just heard. The one you just heard is from the fourth lesson in the series. So, you know, I try not to let, leave anything uncovered. I try to make sure to answer all of your questions that you might encounter as you go along, and I'm always happy to answer emails. So if you start using this lesson series and um, have questions, just drop me a message. I'll, I'll be happy to get back with you. So, um, you know, like I mentioned, We've got reading exercises, timing exercises. We work on getting a good sound, um, how to play with good rhythm, and and get. we also get a good introduction to jazz improvisation, which you might care to follow up with after you work through this series with my Jazz Improv Lesson Series. Okay, so I hope you'll check out these lessons and have a great time learning to play the saxophone, whether it's learning to play again or from the very beginning.